Anyways, Nyx here, and welcome back to another episode of Till the End. And as usual, in this episode, I'm hungry. And as usual, I'm gonna go fix that. Maybe one day I'll come up with a permanent solution for my hunger issues. But not today, because I'm far too lazy to build some sort of farm to get me food. Oh, come on, only two pieces of bread. Ah! <laughs> now, if you didn't see the last episode, in the last episode, I got this amazing little horsey. I mean, he just spawned, like, right next to my beautiful cherry blossom tree. So I just had to snatch him. And honestly, I don't want him living in here. He might get a little bit chubby if he eats fast food all the time. So in this episode, I'm building him a horse's stable. And for a horse's stable, I'm gonna need wood. I actually sort of want to build it out of birch wood and I'll mix in a little bit of oak. So I think it's time I take down this forest. Uh, starting with you, you little tree troublemaker. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now I shall montage getting these three trees and then I shall time lapse getting the rest of them. Perfect. So now it is time that I time lapse. I sure cleared a bunch of trees. I didn't clear those, though. Yeah, I'll clear them some other episode. And I also forgot those. That's aside the point. I have a good amount of wood from that. Although I think I had more birch, but I don't remember where I put it. And now is the hard part, picking a good spot to build the stables. Now, this is a pretty good spot, but it's occupied by slabs. And I'm not taking them down because I'm lazy and I'm hungry. Very inconvenient. Piggy! <laughs> Yummy piggy. That should get my hunger up for quite a bit now. Now, back to finding a good spot for the horse's stable. I get distracted so easily. Near, 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 near. Let's see how that looks from down here. Ooh, I like that. Might have to move it a little bit further back, though. Fish pitcher. But now I'm going to have to extend this mountain out a bit. And the sun's setting. Ah, you will replenish my food supplies. Huh, <laughs> getting dark. It actually looks really nice getting dark, but I still need to sleep. Yummy steak. You know, it's not that good that I'm so reliant on mobs spawning so that I can eat them. Like, one day, what if they just decide to stop spawning? Then what will I do? But for now, they sure do like to keep on spawning and replenishing my food supplies. Because they are nice. This'll be good. Just as soon as I actually finish it. I might have time to do two things this episode. That sure would be nice. Alright. Now I can trim these or strip them or whatever you want to call it. Oh, yeah, that's looking good But I need these male ones to go up by one more block perfect now I can add the roof This is gonna look pretty sweet. This roof is gonna look great You know, I I get it, it's a real basic design, but it's my basic design Although I probably could have done like a lot better, but it's fine. I'll manage and that's the roof Done. Besides the fact that I want a strip of oak going through the mill, not birch. Oh yeah, that's nice. And the sun setting. Sleep. And I can add some fences up here, and fences down here, and trip doors back here. And I'm done! Look at that! For only using oak and birch, that looks pretty good. There are a few details missing though, like adding in some fences here. And here, perfect! So that's the stable pretty much done. I should probably sleep because it's getting pretty dark. But yeah, I like that. Now I bun meal and bush. And perfect. So now I just gotta grab sugar bun and get him into his stable. Can he not fit through gates? Seriously? Well, that's annoying. So now sugar bun has a proper place to stay. Sweet. And it looks pretty nice. So I finished the stables. And that's great and all. But the video's not even five minutes yet. Therefore, I'll have to build something else. And the Minecraft mob vote's over. And the armadillo won! That's the mob I voted for, by the way. And I'm thinking, why don't I build an armadillo sanctuary and an armadillo statue? It's pure genius. Therefore, once they're added, 
I'll be ready for them. And also, I forgot to say sleep, so I must punish myself. Ah! Oh! That hurts. But I deserve it. I feel much better now. And also, pink cape. Here's my live reaction. Oh! Look at that. Look at me. Oh, that cape is nice. Definitely gonna be using it for a while. So yeah, for the next few episodes of Till the End, I'll definitely be using that cape. And now back to the main course. Take it away, me. Thanks, me. And also, can I just say how epic this cape looks, especially with the sunset behind me? I love this cape, and I better sleep before the monsters come out. Sleep. And also, I forgot to mention before I turned up my brightness, I had it on 50 before. This is what it looked like, and this is what it now looks like. So turning up the brightness sure did make it more vibrant, which I like. So, Armadillo Sanctuary. I'm probably gonna need a lot more wood, which is fine. I'll manage. But I also need to find a spot for this. I don't really want it to be near my main town. Just because it's a build, I'm not gonna be able to use for a long time. And this looks like a good spot for it. <sighs> So that's the outline done. Uh, so, so far it's looking extremely basic, which is not a good thing. But the stables was looking extremely basic till I added in all the details. So maybe once I add in all the details, this will no longer look extremely basic. Here's hoping. Sun setting. Now I must gather materials after I find something to eat. And no, I'm not eating the chicken. I'm not a monster. Yummy piggy. <laughs> Yummy. Into my tummy. That should keep me going for a bit. Now, back to the stone mines. I haven't been in here since episode 4, which was probably like 2 or 3 months ago. Probably 4, since I upload so little on this series. Because I'm lazy. Alright, now I shall speed it up. Big X is gone. Gotta craft a new one. Right after I grab a snack. Craft, craft, hello honey, sleep. Back to speed mining. Iron, hold the time lapse. Didn't even realize what this was. This stuff is so valuable. If you don't know, I can hardly find any iron in this world. I found a spawner when I went looking for iron, and I came empty handed when it comes to iron. So I'm pretty unlucky, and lucky at the same time. <laughs> And that's my last pickaxe, and that should be enough stone. And I do not have the brain capacity to smelt most of the stone. Luckily for me, I only have to smelt like two stacks, because I'm using a lot of cobblestone. But I am gonna need some bricks. There's coal right here, but I don't want to ruin my cave. Not that I haven't already <laughs> ruined it, though. I mean, I'm literally letting a chicken run around my cave. No offense, butter. Hey, hey, butter. No, no, butter. Butter, come back. Butter, come down here. You're in trouble. Don't you ever do that again. Or else next time, I'll have to put you on a lead and put you in the timeout corner with honey. Got that? I think he got it. I need 16 coal, so I'll just turn 16 of my wood into charcoal. The coal is done smelting. Now I will smelt this and this. Oh wow, it got dark fast. Sleep. And while that's smelting, it is time to see how many likes the last video got. You guys are insane. The last video has 112 views. That's the most views until the end episode has ever had. And five likes. That is insane. For my standards, at least. You know, I used to hate making till the end episodes because 
because no one would watch them. But now I see people actually watch them, so I should probably make them more often. And now I shall add one, two, three, four, five blocks. But the only reason why I'm doing the like things just for fun. So just like the video if you enjoyed it, so, so I can know it works and doesn't work. Don't just like it to add a block. Although you could. I mean, I wouldn't be complaining. Oh, I have so much cherry wood left over from last episode. But anyways... Now I'm going to time lapse getting the outlines done and the roof. Let's go! than just the outline in the roof. I got the basic box for this thing done. I added a cobblestone trim at the bottom, switched out the oak poles for, what are these logs called again? Acacia logs. And also it's getting dark. I should probably sleep. Sheep. Oh great, I hear skeletons burning. Oh. I'll just let you burn. Owie! What was that? What was that? Just a skeleton using my stand to hide himself from the sun. Well, I will be taking your bones and I will add to my expanding bone collection. So now that I got the basic design for this thing done, I can add in some details. First of all, I'll put in a good old big window here. That looks nice. I'll put another one in over here. That also looks nice. And I'll put in two little windows here. That looks okay. And if if I add in these, and I'm out wood. Good thing I have a couple of saplings there. Now I gotta wait for them to grow. Yummy snack. So while those trees grow, I'm gonna have to do something that I'm gonna probably struggle with a lot. You know, brownie? I miss that sheep. Well, I actually need another brown sheep. Because, if you didn't know, armadillos are brown. And what does that mean? I'm gonna need another brown sheep. Yay. And I don't have any cocoa beans. And I'm not going thousands of blocks away from my town just to find a cocoa bean or two in the jungle. So, I'm gonna have to search for one myself. I'll quickly just make a travel bed with this random crafting table sitting here. And now I have to go searching for a brown sheep. I'll cut to when I find one because I do not want to edit all of this. So, I just saw a brown sheep. Oh, there it is. Yes! That was a lot easier than last time. Last time it took me a couple of real life days to find a brown sheep. Now, I'm gonna need a brown baby. So please give me a brown baby. Come on, come on. Yes! Now you can leave. I only need these two. Come on inside. Can't fit through doors. Just use the window. In fact, I might have to block off these windows before these guys escape. I'm gonna need that coarse dirt later, though. Hey, stop trying to get out of the door. Look, I am gonna have to breed you two until I have... A bunch of brown sheep. I don't even think I've explained why I need the brown wool. I did say it's because armadillos are brown. But the reason is, is because I'm building an armadillo statue. I assume you already know that. And I'm thinking I kind of want to put it on the roof, sort of dangling off. That'd be so cute. But first, I gotta finish this build. So I'm gonna time lapse getting all the brown wool I need. And getting all the wood I need. And I suppose I'll put in the glass in the time lapse. Because I'm cool. Let's go!
brown wool I need. And the wood, I guess. I will be using the brown wool later. So first, let's start off by doing a little something like this. Perfect. And I don't even think I have nearly enough wood for this. And also, I just realized I left a floating tree about. I can't remember, but I think I either blew this up with a creeper or I mined a block beneath it. Probably mined the block beneath it. So I'm gonna bring the fence around here and here. And just as I suspected, don't have nearly enough. Well, maybe I can get all the wood I need to finish this. I got 18, which is just about not enough. Maybe if I put the gate on, now I have one more fence pull. Perfect. So this is the enclosed area. I still gotta do a lot more. And the sun's setting. And I'm out of sprint. Or hunger. Or whatever you wanna call it. Oh no. I forgot to say sleep. Again. And I forgot to punish myself the last time I forgot to say sleep. <coughs> ah, deserved it. Don't forget to say sleep. The day of the day. Piggy. <coughs> Hmm, surprisingly I had a little bit of steak in there. Or beef, whatever you want, call this stuff. I'm gonna need a little bit more wood though, so this tree's gotta go. This probably isn't even enough to do nearly as much as I wanted. I can at least put two of them down and there goes my axe. <laughs> I can put that down and that down and it hardly adds any decoration. You know, so- ow, ugh, as I was saying, you know, so far this is looking like a normal house. And that's not good. I just don't know how to add much detail to this thing, especially since I have such a little amount of wood to work with. To fix this problem, I have crafted a new axe, and now I'm gonna get all the oak trees taken care of back here. But I'm gonna leave the birch trees, cause I'm lazy. I finally got all the trees, except for the birch ones. But I'll get them some other time. Hopefully 59 oak logs will be enough. If not, I'm gonna have to like replant that whole forest and take it down again. Now that I have a new axe, I can strip these. Ah, oh, much better. And I can add more poles ah much better and also the sun saying sleep yummy and also so that the gates will be centered i'll add another one and also that'll just make it easier to get things inside perfect now i'll just smelt iron make shears bone meal and bush perfect now i have a few custom tree stumps it's getting dark sleep and now i'll add in the leaves okay so something extremely infuriating happened and i'm not happy about it Beyond this point, apparently I forgot to record the audio, so now I have to narrate you guys over what just happened. So here we go. So I got the leaves on the trees, of course. I made a beautiful pathway. I went inside, and I added in a floor. So yeah, pretty basic so far. And then I lazily proclaimed the sanctuary was done. And then I realized I was gonna need more than just brown wool. I was gonna need brown terracotta. So I had to face red sand again. And I hadn't faced it since the first episode. So this was gonna be tough. But I needed to get that brown terracotta. It was hot and painful, but I made it. And then there was a mine shaft which freaked me out so much. But thankfully there were no cave spares. So I sped up and made my way home. And then I was ready. And now the audio's working again. So time lapse! It's done! My masterpiece is finished! I only showed like half of the making of this on camera because it looked so ugly! And it still does sort of look ugly. And of course the sun's sitting. I fixed it a little bit. I even gave him a little tail. Sleep. And honestly, I'm pretty happy with it. It doesn't look anything like the Minecraft armadillo though. It doesn't even look like an armadillo. But comparing it with how the woolly guacamole turned out, it looks pretty good. <laughs> and I think I've done everything in this episode. Say of the day, like expanding thing, and why is there a spider there? And I finished three projects, although the armadillo is 
technically a part of the sanctuary. Eh, free to whatever you want to call it. I built somewhere for Sugar Bun to stay, and boy does it look nice. And as you might already know, if you don't already know, I'm surprised. Maybe you zoom to the end of the veil. How should I know? The Armadillo Sanctuary, which for now, I guess this is the Brown Sheep Sanctuary. And yes, I know Sanctuary is not a word, but it just sounds right. I'll do the interior for this thing when 1.21 comes out. But anyways, Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!